So you you have another one in collections, another school in collections. These aren't collections. This is just how much I currently owe to. So you the owe school. to three different f-ing schools. Yes. Please just say no more than that. Hi, I'm Hannah. I'm 20 years old. I'm from Southwestern Oklahoma, and this is Financial Audit. What do you do up there for a living? So I'm a practical nurse. I work in like critical access hospitals all over Oklahoma. Love it. My mom's a nurse. Love nurses. What are you making? Um. My goal is about fifteen hundred a week. Last year, I made seventy three thousand. You say goal, but what do you make? I make thirty five an hour. Okay, how many hours a week are you working? Mm, depends. On average, how many hours a week are you working? I work anywhere from. On average, how many hours a week are you working? <laughs> it depends. Thirty six to seventy two. So we'll you don't have say. an average. I know it ebbs and flows, but can't you average it across? Um, that's why I just say like my base would be fifteen hundred a week. Is what you're aiming for, but is that what you hit on yeah, average? Yeah, for sure. Oh, okay. So you yeah. said that's what you're aiming for, but I get it. Aiming for, to me, is more like, this is what I want to do. Well, no, but... me aiming is like 3000 a week. Okay, so $78,000 a year. I mean, seventy three last year. My goal- But we're aiming for $78,000 a year. Yeah. But we're not hitting it? Not last year, but um, I had a, like a job switch. Making more? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I should make good. more this year. Good, 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 good. So that'd be $6,500 a month? ish on average mm-hmm. if it's bi-weekly if it's semi-monthly it's probably going to be that if it's bi-weekly mm-hmm. some months are going to be less some months are going to be more a couple months are going to be more yeah um what came in was this must have been a good month nine thousand dollars see it's like all over the place yeah but on average we're looking at that like six thousand five hundred yeah before taxes uh do you aim for that uh weekly income after taxes or before i would say after is what i aim for to get that much oh. i mean that's so I'm still living at 20? I feel How's so that? behind in life. I always feel behind. Like, I feel like well, I'm... Behind? You're 20. I know. What, what are you feeling behind about? I feel like I should be making a lot more. A lot more? You're making after taxes above the U.S. median household income at 20. But as you can see, I'm so broke. Well, yes. No, you've been stupid. But, <laughs> like, but it's not an income issue. You're doing crazy well. Um... And then making crazy decisions. Uh, you're making a lot of money. And compared to people your age, you're making a shit ton of money. And most people are I in just, college going into debt. At yeah. 20. Which I'm doing that too. You're also in college. Why? Yes. You're a nurse. Or what are you trying to what Well, are you trying right to now I'm a licensed practical nurse, which is, you know, LPN. And okay, I want to yeah, be an yeah. RN. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, you want to be an RN. You're making this without even being an RN. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's incredible. So you're obviously a workhorse. I work a lot. Yeah. How many hours a week are you working? You you said it was like. 36 to 72. 36 to 72. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Plus how many hours a week in school? Um, Right now I'm just going to take, I'm enrolled in nine credits this eight weeks and then I'll do nine credits next. So. So how, how have you had enough time to be as stupid as this pile of debt suggests? Like there shouldn't even I be enough things. time in the day to go take out a 63% interest loan. 63%. Okay, I had no clue about that until what I sent you. You mean you had no clue about that? I didn't know that that was the interest rate until I sent you all the documents. What? When did you get this? How did you not even know that was before? I How did it take so sending stupid. us the documents? I don't know. How long have you had it? But that's what I want to pay off first. Well, no. Sh- um, how so long have you had it? I want to say maybe 2 years two and I barely paid anything off. What could this possibly be for? What is this? Because you only borrowed $2,000, but you're paying $1,000 of interest back from it. What is this possibly for? This is insane. You're going to love it. Last year, I think it was last year, it was 2022, I went out and bought a brand new 2022 Kia, Kia K5, um, and then I got that loan to do like the registration and all that. No. Why? So at 18? Yeah. From where? But Did you walk into like a sketchy place with a bunch of mobsters and be like, yo, I need to pay for my registration? Why well, do you, did you I put just, anything down on the car when you bought it? No. But my interest rate on that was like 3%. <laughs> yeah, but then this. this well, that was stupid that. because I could have oh paid gosh. for it in cash. I don't know why yeah. I bought that. No, why did you get that? A friend told me it was a good idea. I oh. thought it was going to build my credit because oh, I was working really people. hard to get my credit up to 700 and then now I've completely tanked it. The majority of Americans are dumb when it comes to personal finances. We're not listening to people. I, I figured that out. Yeah, But at least figured I figured it out. it out young. You figured it out at 18, I know, but but 
you've started to become more educated on personal finances, right? Yeah, for sure. Cool. How do you not know the interest rate of this until you sent it to us? Well, I would say I became more educated recently, very recently. Like a week ago? Yeah. Well, on this. Because I've always just paid the minimum. It's like $200 a month. Yeah, but you're paying 63.22% on that 2000 It's insane. I feel like that should be illegal. You, I mean, you <laughs> signed up for it and when you didn't need to. I know. You had cash. So what's still Stupid. owed now? Oh, my gosh. It's I up know. from the original balance. No, now it's technically down, but you made a, you know. So you're paying $200 a month. Yes. What even is this? What company is this? What do we Sun even loan? call this? Sun loan of death. I really want to get that paid off like as soon as possible. Yeah, no, it's not. You're, dude, you're bringing in six thousand five hundred bucks in the middle of nowhere. You can pay this off today. I have a lot of things to pay for. Yeah, and most of that is going out to eat, which we'll get to, because <laughs> that's where all your money actually goes. So I think let's take some accountability going into this conversation, please, because it's not like you. I mean, sure, there's bills, but come on. I mean, I have your f***ing spending right here. Food is Miscellaneous. a necessity. <laughs> Food yeah, is important. Not, yeah, but not going out to eat. No. Have you heard of a sandwich? For sure. Miscellaneous. But I buy groceries. Then you don't need to be going out to eat every second of your life. We haven't even gotten into that. Groceries was 12% of your spending. Going out to eat was 12% of your spending. Miscellaneous bull****, that doesn't matter, was 33% of your spending. Yeah. So don't. <laughs> Don't come into here with that. Come on. Take some accountability for the first time in your life. 20, you're young. This is a good time to learn. Trust me. When I was 20, I wish someone was having this conversation with me. Okay, so we currently owe $1,979.50 of sun loan of stupidity. Wonderful. At a $200 and $27 minimum monthly payment. This is crazy, dude. An 18-year-old signing up for that? Stupidest Those, when you were walking in must have been just like yes. I did it all over the phone. It was so easy. I or never again. Oh never again. University collections, collections from university. Yes. But you're in university right now, and you have university well, collections. Now that a new year is underway, I'm sure we're all looking for new ways to grow our money. I'm thrilled to share that our sponsor, Moomoo, is rolling out some amazing bonuses and features designed to give your investments a major boost. Moomoo has recently introduced an incredible offer. A 3% APY coupon valid for three months in addition to the already 5.1% APY on unlimited invested cash. This combination allows you to start the new year with an exceptional 8.1 APY starting off the new year strong. For new users, a deposit of $100 gets you five free stocks while a deposit of $1,000 would get you an impressive bundle of 15 free stocks. For those who want to transfer their portfolio to Moomoo, they could receive up to $5,000 in cash rewards. A great way to start. But it's not just about the bonus. Moomoo provides data and analytics on par with Bloomberg terminal standards absolutely free. This is ideal for those who aim to become better informed investors without giving up the simplicity of a user-friendly app. Additionally, they offer a bunch of learning materials perfect for anyone looking to sharpen their trading skills. For stock enthusiasts, Moomoo is the go-to platform for in-depth analysis. It offers real-time analytic ratings, company valuations, and financial statement analysis, all at your fingertips and completely free. So if you're ready to take your investing to the next level, click the link in the description box below and let's make 2024 the year of your financial success. So I had gotten a full ride scholarship to a nearby like local college, um, but they didn't have the degree that I wanted. So I kind of What was the just, degree you wanted? I, my R, and they didn't have an R okay. program there. And I realized how expensive it was to live, that I needed to make money every day. So I stopped going and got my LPN instead. And then kind of just completely forgot about that and recently called and saw that the, all that was in collections. Because in order for me to get my transcripts sent to the college I'm going to now, I have to pay that off. This is internal collections, too. Mm -hmm. It looks like so. So I really need to have that paid off by August so I can get into nursing school. Which again, you make so much fucking money. How have you not paid this? Going out to eat is the answer. <laughs> not a good time. What's stupid is like all of that is like a dorm fee. 
which I didn't even stay in my dorm. I think I stayed one night in my dorm. You're lucky it's not coin interest or anything. Oh, an email from you. <laughs> I also forgot to mention I owe my dad $1,800. So he helped pay me some college classes. He, yeah, he put, I think he has an insane amount of credit card debt too. Oh. So he went ahead and put that on his credit card for me. Oh, uh, co- college, college co- classes yes. on a credit card. So I can hurry up and get these done. I mean, there's like parent loans, though. That would have been so much better. Not that they're great by any means, but better than a credit card. Eighteen hundred dollars is there a minimum monthly payment on this that you've agreed to, or is it just eighteen hundred dollars? No. When did you take this out, or when did he? Take- um, this was like last month, so. No. He says not to worry about it, but I just don't want to feel That's like I owe anybody worse. anything. Yeah, especially family. Yeah, for sure. Last month. But so I can't get. I don't know if you're ready for change last <laughs> month, borrowing eighteen hundred dollars. I can't get anything from FAFSA or like any. Uh, I don't know, like government loan. You your credit and just life and everything. Right? Well, until I have that Finances. OU collections paid off. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what is this? What is this? What I think I that's my Swasu balance, which is another your what Swasu Southwestern University. You owe another balance to a different school. Yes. So I've basically just been school hopping because I'll owe a balance, so I just go to a next school. I didn't. <laughs> How are you laughing? That's I don't terrible. Know. I know it's bad, but I want to get my classes done, and it's expensive. Yeah, but you again, with the money you make, this is so irresponsible. Um, at least I'm getting my school done. Yeah, through 50 different schools. Well, it's getting done. Why don't you just buckle down and finish it? Because I don't have the Why'd money. you have to jump from this school? So that school is the school I'm going to attend in fall, but I have to have that paid off by the fall Why semester. Are you from the school you're in now? The school I'm in now is just online. Well, I'm getting that paid off. Got to love it, huh? I don't know how you're smiling through this, but... Um, but I, I really need to have, like, all this paid off by fall. What are you doing at Walmart, dude? Why do you owe $112.67 to Walmart, dude? So there for a while, I was spending like $300 a week at Walmart buying groceries. And financing it all? Yeah, a lot of it. Okay. It's so easy. Never mind. I just answered my own question. I was like, okay, maybe she just started making her good money and there was no reason to do this. Mm -hmm. But you already explained you made good money last year, especially for someone your age at 19. Okay, money. How much was it again? Oh, 73,000. That's great money at 19. Are you kidding me? What are, do you come from, you're not, you know, you don't come from a super privileged place. No. But like, why are you acting like that's not a good money at 19? Because I just have. In the middle of nowhere, to be high clear. High goals for myself. Oh, well, that's okay. But I mean, let's not pretend like you're not in the position you're in. You're in an amazing position and you're f***ing it up. I am. Really bad. It's and not I the just... income though. Stop blaming that. This is I you don't think around. That income. But you just said, oh, I'm not making that much and all this stuff. Like, you're making an incredible amount of money at 19. There's people out there that are watching this that are in their 50s not making as much as you. Mm-hmm. And they're watching someone just throw it all away. Stupid financing Walmart. But then it makes me feel rates. better because instead of spending 300, I'm only spending 100 or 75. What? This doesn't make sense. No, it all stacks up. I know it does. Then why'd you just say that? I don't know. It makes it a lot better in the moment. Okay, but you know it doesn't actually, correct? Yeah. There's no interest. I know, but your minimum monthly payments are already insane. You're just f***ing around with your money. Mm -hmm. And your money is just stacking up and they're becoming owed at different... Oh my gosh. This is all becoming just wild. I know. And I don't ever look at my bank account. And you've already have two things in collections. So what's what's to prevent this from going in collections? my point of view. I don't. Can that go into collections? Huh? Can quad pay and stuff like that? Affirm? Can yeah. that go into collections? If you it don't pay for it. It's an automatic payment. If you. Do, what if you don't have money in your checking account? I went to your checking account. Hundred dollars was in there. What if there's a little less than that? I should have sent you my statement this month. What? 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 There, I just. I have more. I don't know. Yeah. But at that point, you had a hundred dollars at the time of this statement. You yeah. had a hundred dollars, which what if a couple of the payments hit? Yeah. And you would not have paid them. Would that have automatically gone into collections? No, but that's just one start For of sure. a train. More quad paper. DH gate and best lament. That's flooring. Lament. So I had a little, house? 
well, I had a little manic episode where I ripped up the carpet in my bedroom, so I'm putting flooring down. Who owns your bedroom? Um, so you're gonna hate me for this, Caleb. Um, my I have a cousin that's letting me. I basically just took over her payments, and I was really hoping. Her payments of what? Of a rental or of the house that she owns? My the name. house. So she has equity in this home. Yes. But you're putting your money into it. Well, I was hoping to Why apply to a home loan this, sh- this year. Well, and she'll sell it to you. Yes. Yeah, she was trying to sell it, but I. she said that she home would. Loans, your credit score is like nothing. I know. That's why I'm trying to work on that. At the time, I had it like high up. It took me forever to get to like 700, and then it went down so fast. But I was really, do you think it's possible for me to get get it up enough this year to apply for there's no reason it should be where it is before you walked in this door to the both both of the collections should have been paid off you make too much money you spend it all your yeah. around you're damn right you can get it up but i was really hoping to buy the house this year maybe let's go through it let's go through it what is this there's screenshots we asked for statements you sent screenshots there well so, since these aren't like student loans or anything these are this is just the amount that i owe um, um, there's not a statement. This is Swasu again. There's a statement for everything. This is the Southwestern University. So it's the thing I already have. Yes. I don't know if that was the same amount. No, it's different. So you owe more? Mm-hmm. So you owe more. Which one? Possibly. Which one's correct? 1,680 or 2,778? Maybe the 1,600 was Educan. I'm going to too many different oh schools. Oh my gosh. This is why you send statements when we send, say there's send statements. There's no statements. I went. Incorrect. I literally didn't know who What was the other one called? Statement. Educan. This is called Swasu, South. Southwestern. So you you have another one in collections, another school in collections. These aren't collections. This is just how much I currently owe to. So you the owe school. to three different f-ing schools. Yes. Please just say no more than that. Really? No, that's it. Is this joke to you? I find this humorous. I mean, you're just sitting here like. I'll get it taken care of. What does that mean? You haven't taken care of anything, and you make too much money. Well, that's why I'm here. I know, but you're just sitting there taking it like a joke. It's not a joke. I'm going to get it. You're sitting there laughing. You're making little silly hee ha hee has <laughs> goofs and gaffs. See, like right there. I know. I'm taking this seriously. I'm here to sit down and talk about this. I feel like you don't give a Well, because right now my top priority is school. I want to get school over with. Okay, well, so, that's a complete f-ing lie because you just said your top priority was sun loan. Then you said you want to get a house this year. And now you're saying you want to take your school as the top priority. What's the top priority? We can't have five top priorities or yes, we don't I can. meet. Or no, no, top yes, priority. I can. No, you can't. Top priority means you have a top priority. There aren't 10 things at the top. Yes. When there's something at the top. Okay, my the, top 10 priorities. Top 10, okay. okay. But then you rank them. The thing is, the only thing I become concerned when people are just when they have so many different things they're trying to do and they're all equal in their mind of what they want to do, they don't get any of them done because they can't focus up and then get their done. I want you to hone in, sense. kill it. Well, then I have the too top many 10 going floors on. are not all the top floors. Which one's the top? All of it. All right. Okay. What the I just, at my age, I should have my life together and I you're don't. You're 20. I know, but you it just stop. feels like you're, I'm drowning. Okay. You are. You are. <laughs> You're acting like a child in multiple different ways. Like, okay. I would be upset if you were sitting, it's, tw- it's 20, it's okay, it's perfect. Like, That's I'd be upset. I'd be, no, I would said I would be upset if you said that. Mm-hmm. But some for some reason, I don't know what it is. Maybe you guys can explain it. I'm upset that you're saying, I should absolutely be perfect at 20. There ha- there, I think there's a middle ground in between that, like, 18 to 21. And it's yeah. like, I obviously would want you to be doing better. These these just strict mind approaches, like, I'm not making that much money for my age. I'm behind for my age. It's not true. I'm not it's saying not, it's, exactly it's, it's like your that. actions that you've done behind this. Mm-hmm. Not your income. Not, okay. Okay. I maybe, agree. Maybe I'm just getting upset. Okay. Something credit union. $6,206 you took out. At basically 9% interest. Is this for a car, if I'm not mistaken? Loan, credit union, 6000 Total amount finance, sorry. Uh, sorry, that's your. That's how much you're going to pay in interest. Uh, $26,025. Yeah, that was probably one of my cars. One? Again with the laugh. What are we doing I'm here? sorry. It is what goofy. Is well, it's in a salvage yard. No, that's the car I just got. So Just got, when? Mm, oh, my Last gosh. month? Last Actually... So you had to borrow from your dad last month, but then you go and get a car? Well. 
kind of choices are I happening didn't have in your a life, car. dude? So last year. So we get a $26,000 car? I feel like that's affordable. The one I wanted what was a lot you? more. No fucking sh- No f***ing. The car that everyone wants is a lot more than the car I that know. they get. I went out in October. Oh my gosh. And got my dream car. A diesel Jaguar F-Pace. What the f***? It was, she was beautiful. I miss her so much. But before I could even like register into my name, I totaled her. Why? How? What happened? Um, I hydroplaned on the interstate coming home from work. You're going quick. No, it was raining. Yeah, no. But the hydroplane used to go a little quick. I mean, I wasn't going too fast. So I've been in. That's what happened to my Kia. I hit a deer, totaled it. I've had like five insurance claims in the past two years. Four of them have been on the same road. Sounds like we need to take a different road. And be an hour, have to leave an hour earlier? Oh, you're right. You're in the middle of nowhere. I drive, like, on average, 700 miles a week. Why do you get a Jaguar for a daily commute like that? Well, That's stupid. after I get my insurance money for my old Jaguar, I want to get a work car. Well, work car? You mean a daily commuter? Sure. What is this? My car. And why can't this be a work car? Because I don't want to put too many miles on it. Why? What is this? Uh, a Jaguar. You got another Jaguar. Yes. Who the fuck are you? You know why you feel behind at your age? Because you're being a dumb piece of I with your money. I know. But Two I... Jaguars at 19 and 20? Mm-hmm. That's stupid. I need you to recognize. I understand. I don't want to be mean. But... Okay, it's stupid. Then get rid of it. No, never. Why? I will have a Jaguar until the day I die. It's a Jaguar. Who gives a sh- piece of metal that has an engine that breaks down and hits deers who cares what it is i care i don't give about what you care I'm i care about your future huh i'm in my car so much oh yeah but guess what you're buying a new car to drive the 700 miles a week so you won't be in this car that much i know okay so logic crushed immediately so what's the point i love them congratulations i love your future more than a piece of metal i can still have a good future and have a jack oh my gosh not if you're not willing to give up a single thing i will not give it up but the other one, the insurance money should be here this month. How much? Not, I'm only probably going to get a thousand from it. It's like 23,000. <laughs> I want to die. Me too. Then sell the fucking car. Why? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a adult. I couldn't so even get what it's worth. It. Like what I, I wouldn't Yeah, because you made a money. dumb, stupid decision. But guess what? It would get you closer Closer getting out of debt, trying to get rid of this twenty six thousand. You got it at nine percent, which is a interest rate anyway. I know interest rates suck right now. Yeah, so maybe we don't get Jaguars at twenty. What can I, like I, what can I get that was that would be out. cheaper than that? What? What would be cheaper than that? My Kia was more expensive than that. What would be cheaper than it? Mm-hmm. What would be cheaper than it? A ten thousand dollar car. A ten th- shh. A ten thousand dollar car. That guess what? Would not be luxurious in any way. Might have some issues with the AC, but it would no. get you. Stop. I would I'm have. answering your question. Okay. It would be a car that would get you from point A to point B safely for a couple years while you got your mess out of the way, started contributing and catching up on retirement, paid for school, paid off your collections, and then you get your car because you like make a lot of money at your age, but you're not doing that it makes right. makes sense. Shh. You're, but you're f- around with your age that's the car that you would have gotten that's the car that you should have you should have nothing else you're 20 you don't need a jaguar you don't need a second jaguar we don't need a work car it's not even a work car because you're not a contractor so you can't even write it off it's as a daily commuter so since i've been in so many wrecks i've seen how difficult it is to not have a car when i wreck a car so i feel like it's important. oh my gosh an emergency fund car no I you have like an emergency important. fund to get another car but it takes a while to find the car you want. I know, but the, no, you're being, you're being, okay. I don't know the per capita numbers, but if I were a betting man, I would bet you're well above the per capita, uh, crashes per capita. You have something going on, dude. You got mm-hmm. something going on. Now, I'm not sitting there in your chair and in, in your passenger seat, but you got something going on if we're getting in like five different car crashes. It's really scary. Oh, it's so spooky. I know, but come on. You ever been in a wreck? I've been hit. It's scary. I know, but you've done it like 50 times. I've almost hit elk. I've um, like wild hogs. I know. You've just been in a lot personally. Yes. Which, but I drive which, I mean, a lot. I know, but a lot of people drive a lot and you've been in more. In the middle of nowhere? I'm from a small town in Michigan. 
Mm-hmm. And I know people that lived in the rural areas where there's mm-hmm. deer everywhere. No one I know has gotten as many car crashes as you by the age of 20. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, so something's just telling me maybe you're just not the best driver. Maybe you're a little irresponsible. I am a good driver. Numbers are not agreeing with you. Okay. I'm we don't have to argue about this. Huh? We're here to talk about finances. We don't have to say if I'm a good driver or not. Well, it's just kind of boiling down to you buying a bunch of cars. You trying to justify it. Uh, it just makes sense. What? Having no, a backup it car. No, it does not. It does not make sense. Okay. I won't do it. Mathematically, it doesn't make sense. I what won't do, you, do it. What do you mean you won't do it? You're going to drive your Jaguar on it? Is this the only car you own at this point? Yeah. Well, I'm just waiting on my insurance money. My other one It'll is- It'll be $1,000. Yeah. Which won't pay off the other loan. No, that's how much I'm going to have extra. Oh. Yeah, it's like 23000 Oh, thank God. Yeah. Do you have a picture of this car? What car? This car. My one that I drive the now? The car that we're it's on, outside. the one we're talking about. It's outside right mm-hmm. here? It's not very, it's okay. Let's go take a look at the car. Oh, no. I need to see what- That's her. It looks pretty nice. This is ridiculous for a 20-year-old, though. This is ridiculous. It's a nicer car than I've ever had. Well, I'm sure you make enough now. You can get a nicer car. I know, but you're just being stupid. You're 20. I agree. You're 20 and a half bad debt. You have, what was that, a 600% interest rate? What did we see at the beginning? Was it 60 or 600? I don't remember. 60. 60. Okay, still the one of the dumbest things I've ever seen, especially a 20-year-old. For sure. I agree. We don't get a... Second Jaguar, and then a work car. Okay. I won't. What is the Jaguar but worth right now? When they blue booked it, it was like 26000 When Who blue booked it and when? Uh, my credit union. When? Um, Whatever the date is on there. Does it say? It was like a couple weeks ago. $537? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to figure out what the current balance is. It's probably the 26000 Yeah. And I am sorry if I'm coming across the route, but man, it just feel, I just feel it's like fine. you're just not... Like, I just knew that you were going to want me to get rid of it, and I will not get rid of it. Then you don't give a sh- It's as simple as that. I do, but if you're not I willing, can- sh- If you're not willing okay. to make a sacrifice, if you're not willing to make a sacrifice of the biggest debt you have, the biggest debt burden you have- But I'm going to have a, a you car debt regardless. Yes, yes. But we can manipulate the numbers in a way where this cuts your debt by such a substantial amount. Mm-hmm. You can get that car in a couple of years when you're the ripe old age of 22. Whoa! Borderline Whoa. dead. That was my goal to probably sell this next year and then get a newer one. Sell this next year? You're going to wait till the... Get a newer one? Mm-hmm. I seriously... I seriously... I, I want to stop this interview right now. The f- you, you have no care. You don't give a shit. I don't care. No, you don't. If you would care, you would do something about your biggest debt. I like my car. You like your car more than you care about the future of your life. It's as simple as that right now. I believe it's as I simple as that right now. It's as simple as that right now. Okay. It's as- Discover. Discover mm. it. Discover how to that piss me the f- Yeah, for sure. Is there anything you haven't done that's not stupid? Mm. I'm being a dick. I'm being a dick. I, but I, honestly, I don't, this doesn't mean I don't like you because I don't know you enough. Mm-hmm. But as the raw concept of understanding a person and the little bit that I know about you, I do not like people who are not willing to sacrifice things in order to better their life. And you're not willing to sacrifice things that I'll you like. I'll sacrifice other things. Other things. You're being picking and choosing. You're not willing to sacrifice everything because to that better your life. Like, okay. To better your life. And I do not okay. like people who are not willing to do that. It's just a sign of immaturity in my brain. Okay. Oh, good. We can't fully pay off the card. Interest is accruing. What do we expect to happen next? Oh, $583 of purchases. Why not? Makes perfect sense. Mm-hmm. $80 minimum monthly payment. Oh, what is it all? Oh, it's all going out to eat. Who would have thought? For sure. I don't make enough money. I don't make enough money. Oh, is it that? Or is it that we're going to Sonic and Imperial Hut? Which, by the way, is your favorite thing in the world. You go there it's every a vending machine. Year. Okay, <laughs> yeah. a vending machine. You are obsessed with this vending machine. I am. Yeah, you may as well propose to this vending machine and spend the rest of your life with it. Mm-hmm. You in a three-way with the Jaguar. I work Apple night pay. shift. Oh, I work night shift. Cool. Again, 
Uh, have you heard of this grand concept called the sandwich? It's an mm. amazing new invention, 2024, invented by Tim Cook himself. No, Steve Jobs himself. Thrown on the assembly line out in China, shipped over. It's this beautiful little thing. It's great, and it costs like 50 cents in total. It's awesome. Imperial Hut, Sephora, and Taquitos, Bath and Body Works, Imperial, 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 Taco Bell, <laughs> Sonic. That Imperial, though, it's only like $3. It's only $3 every second of your life. I know, it adds up. $59 of interest accrued. Credit score in the f- 597. Yeah, let's I get know. a mortgage this year. That makes sense. Gosh, I'm going to come across a such an oh. episode and people are going to hate I me. I know. This, this one, sense. I did not mean for that to happen last month. Have, have we not heard a variation of that? Basically, that statement for every of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, now nine deaths that we've had of different variations. For sure. Of what you just said. Okay. But it's going to get better. What does that mean? I just, I got to be more. You're demonstrating in no way and you're not willing to sacrifice the biggest thing. So I want to keep this card because I can pay it off. I pay it off all the time. But I just. You did not have interest accrued. That is correct. But you're still spending, you spent $815 there. Mm hmm. So. We don't have to add this as a debt because you pay it off. But what is it? But what is it? We're getting some taquitos. We're getting some taquitos. Some mm-hmm. soggy llama coffee. Panera. Uh, I think some taquitos in Soho Steakhouse. McDonald's. Sonus Country Mart. Taquitos. Uh, taquitos. And, oh, good. Taquitos. Yeah. Oh, taquitos. You stop at stores every second of your life and buy just bull. I do. Oh, well, stop. I I have to. Taquitos, yes, it's not an option. I don't, I don't, it's like, yeah. Uh, there's the vending machine. Taquitos, 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 taquitos. Or, sorry, vending, vending, vending. And All Express. It's honest. My new editor is going to hate going through and doing all the animations of your expenses. Sorry, Mika. I love you. I know you're suffering I'm right sorry. now. I'm sorry. Probably not suffering as much as me, though. Tell me what this is. This is... So this is um, a loan I got to get laser hair removal. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Everyone's getting laser hair removal. Yeah. You're in the middle of Oklahoma. No one's going to see the hair. It doesn't matter. There's, there's No one even lives there. It's just the deer that you hit. That's, all who's, like, you're in, that's who you're interacting with on a daily basis. Is the, the elk that you've ran into that day. I know. It's, I need to. I really just got to pay all these off. Help me. Or we accept having a bush for a whole year. I think it's worth it. Well, I already debt. paid for it. I'm not against it. I'm just against spending unnecessary spending mm-hmm. when we're drowning in debt. No, no, I don't make enough money. No, you're just out of control in and every I, way whatsoever. What's your minimum monthly payment on while. this? So it's $64 every two weeks. Oh my gosh, it literally does not end. Is this the other card debt? Yes. It's, we're wiping this clean, right? Because your insurance yes. will go to this, correct? Yes, hopefully by the end of this month. But stick. it will go to this. Yes. Yeah, it has to because there's a lien on the car. Oh, f- there's more to the Walmart. Student oh, I know. Payment. That's I didn't realize there was interest on that. I had more and I paid them off before I sent it to you. So you're welcome. This isn't about me. I know. I'm just scared of you. Why? You should be scared of your debt. I am. I'm only spooky scary when the debt is bad and people are being stupid. Mm-hmm. You don't have to be scared of me. Be a reasonable, responsible adult and take care of your own sh- mm-hmm. If you have a lot of sh- you're actually reasonable and responsible and starting to tackle it, I'm not scary because you're already on the right track. You won't sell the f- Jaguar that just looks like any other SUV out there. She's pretty. It looks like a black SUV. Mm-hmm. Care credit? Oh, I I sent that. Is there a minimum monthly payment on it? I'm not sure. I just pay off. Like, every time I get paid, I'll just put, like, 200 or... I'm just trying to get that down. It's usually zero because I pay off so much. $61,000. That was a sh- debt at 20 years old. Yeah. What a way to begin adulthood. How fun. It's not fun. I don't recommend. Well, that's why at least, no matter how much I'm suffering right now, that someone out there, 18, 19, is watching this, and they're like, okay, I have the options to sign up for all this debt. Oh, but I watched this video, mm-hmm. and hopefully yes, they're not Yes, do not be me. Do not be you. Do not all. do it. You stop being you. I'm trying. Well, I don't know about that, because it was $137 in the checking account. Mm-hmm. Where did it all go? What's the whole Okay. Button? 
What? I hate that this is the one that I sent you because I never go to the casino ever. And but then you did. So you last never go to the casino Last month, I went to three casinos in one month. So Chick-fil-A, Taco Bell, Taco mm-hmm. Bueno, Joba. For sure. Thank you, Joba and Proper. So Apple, good. Scooter's Coffee. Mm. There's your firm. Chicas. That's the main thing that comes out is those quad Starbucks, payments. Dick's Sporting, Alta, Quad Pay, Kill Tony. I saw them the New Year's Eve show. I had to buy it. It I was, was so, so sad good. I could. You went? Yeah, it was really good. It's really good. But I can afford to go. Because I don't have bad debt. Well, you have bad debt. You can afford to go with your income when you don't have bad debt. And a fully funded emergency fund, you don't I have anything to I didn't go. I paid the $30 and watched it online. Yeah, you couldn't afford it, though. Mm. Patreon can't afford that either. Better be mine, at least. I didn't know you had Patreon. Please. Um... PlayStation, Quad Pay, Hop and Sack, Happy Hollow. That was the bet. Coocher? No. Coacher. Well, my mind's still on the laser hair removal, apparently. <laughs> Wildcat Express. Mm-hmm. Seafood Party. Mm-hmm. Quad Pay Netflix. Imperial. Oh uh, yeah, the fucking vending machine. Oh, you're wild. You're wild. I know. Oh! What? This is insanity for someone your age starting adulthood and you think you're going to buy a house this year. Total overdrafts this year so far, $1,743. That, dude, that's, that's, why? Hey, but this year, none. We just started the year. You haven't had the chance. That was not probably the first of the year when Oh, I wasn't making as much money. Gosh. And like I said, I never check my bank account. Stop. Stop. I don't want to hear anything. Okay. You overdrafted that much, mm-hmm. making as much as you do. This mm-hmm. is one of the most irresponsible financial situations I've ever seen in my life. And that is not a statement I wanted to say today on a Monday. And your rent's only $800? Your rent's only $800? And you're overdrafting? Oh, you're paying her home insurance. I was going to say that's mm-hmm. ridiculously expensive for renter's insurance. Electric 98s, not bad. Gas, yeah. And that's because it is the nippier months. Water's probably 120. You said 100. Yeah. So 120? Mm-hmm. It yeah. varies, but I swear they don't even check my meter. Car insurance 122? I think it went up to like 100. No, it's 122. I was so happy because the Lions won yesterday. My phone bill was like. Conference championship. Might go to the Super Bowl and then you come in here. I don't even know who that is. 340 for a phone bill? Yes. What the f? I know. T Mobile. Explain? No, I I have T Mobile. What? I just feel like they just lied to me. What are you talking about, dude? I signed up for Unlimited for 70 bucks. Well, they say, like, all the, yeah, all this stuff is going to be free, blah, 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 blah. And then I look and it's $340. No, you're, no. That's not, people don't just walk in and get, no. That's not a thing. I don't know. My, this is not a top priority. Do you own on your phone? Did you finance your phone through them? Yes. How much to pay that off? I don't know. But I would like to... Well, I pay for my boyfriend's phone, too. Oh, why? He's your boyfriend. Yeah. yeah. Why? I don't know. You already lasered your hair for him. Why do you have to pay for your phone? Pay for his phone. Uh, I want to pay both of our phones off and then just... Why both of us? Why? So we can just do, like, Mint Mobile. No, why or... we? Why we? He's your boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Does he give you money for this? No. Is he an elk on the side of the road? Is that who you're dating? <laughs> then he can pay. Mm. Mm? What is mm? What is mm? I, I don't, he doesn't. Go on. I don't know. He just, he doesn't make that much. He just recently got a job. Boo hoo. He shouldn't have uh, financed the phone. I agree. Okay. Then why are you taking care of it? I don't, I feel like I have to. And they're in my name. Are you a sugar mama? At the age of 20, yeah. To, if, if that's what you want to be. I don't stupid. want to be. Then stop. I don't know what to do. You tell him, hey, I'm trying to get out of debt that I'm dying. I in. told him this month he has to pay me $400 for the house. 
Oh, he doesn't even, you guys live together and he doesn't even split rent usually? Mm. Oh my gosh, you're really, he's, he's a man baby. What's his job? So he was jobless like half the year last year and he just recently got a job at Goodyear. Insurance? Is that Goodyear? It's no, tires. tires. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But his checks are like not very much. And so far, all I've seen is like $300 a week. And he's only had a few paychecks. Got to stop subsidizing that man, baby. And your debts are insane, of course. Surprise, surprise. surprise but that's why I, I feel like I spend so much at Walmart because I'm always making sure he has like groceries and stuff. Food, you're contributing 300 no more. He's a big boy. $300 a month? That's what you're contributing to groceries to cover one person. I have my dogs, too. Okay. 75 right? Mm, they're big dogs. I have two big dogs. Mm. Uh, I know, but I spend a decent Three big on dogs. 100 Sure. Okay, dogs. Wish they were here. I'd pet them. They'd make my mood so much happier. I really wanted to bring her. You said there's three. Mm-hmm, but I have one that's just like my baby. Well, I wish I met her. Uh, toilet paper fund, $100. Anything extra you need, makeup, you know, supplies, mm-hmm. things, you know, the necessities. Health insurance to your parents? Mm-hmm. Oh, and then we have Wi-Fi. Uh, yes, what's your internet? It's $80 a month. My boyfriend, I told him that was the only thing he just had to log into the account and pay it because that's the only thing that's still in his name. So that's all he had to do, log into the account, pay it, use my credit card, pay it. I guess yeah. he hadn't been paying it the past few months, so I had to pay like $360. Listen, I know this is very personal, but when have I ever cared about that? Why are you dating this child? I don't know. We've been together too long. That's not a good excuse to be dating someone. I love him. Well, that's a good excuse to be dating someone. I know. But he's a baby. Mm. At least financially speaking. For sure. He owes lots of money, lots of different places, too. No, you guys are perfect for each other, then. Mm-hmm. $3,337 uh, $3, on a monthly basis. That's what you need to live. You say you're bringing in net double. In net, you brought in triple. I know, and that's how when I add it up, that's kind of how it is too. But cool, I just... so follow this budget. Go through our budgeting program. Okay. Go through our budgeting program and actually do it. Okay. Do the program. Teaches you how to budget in your situation and keeps mm-hmm. you on track. Do it, and then you should never be spending a penny over this. You really shouldn't. In this case, you just go through the oh, debts. what about gas for my car? Okay, how much is gas? Mm-hmm. It's going to be expensive because you drive a lot. Yeah, I would say I fill it up. At least two or three times a week, and that's seventy five dollars to fill it up. We'll do three. Let's just let's just be. <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah, sure. Two hundred twenty nine. Honestly, it doesn't make a massive dent because you make a lot of money. Three thousand five hundred ninety nine. Cool. Fantastic. According to you, net you should have an extra two thousand nine hundred one dollars on a monthly basis. Again, there's no reason why sun loan should exist. You have an extra $1,000 on top of killing that. You kill it and you have an extra $1,000. There's no reason for it to exist. If that exists in other months, it's because you're being a child. Okay. Because you're being irresponsible and not giving a shit about your future. Mm-hmm. I'm fully ready to get this taken care of. So I'd take care of that in the uni, the first university collections. And if you do that, mm-hmm. that's two months. Boom. Two months. Okay. The reason I'm not doing a one-month emergency fund first is because your living situation is very, very generous, and I'm sure your yeah. cousin would allow you to chill for a month if you needed to. So the risk is quite minimal. And then you're on your parents for some things as well, and there is a boyfriend, kind of. Okay, and then the other education, taking care of in month three with some of it going to the Southwestern. In month four, we're finishing Southwestern and finishing the Walmart. Walmart. Month five. Yeah, the two Walmarts. The, the little pay stupid. You don't think I should just go ahead and just pay those stop. off now? I'm going through this. Number five. Discover it's gone. And care at that point, honestly. Six, laser hair. And dad. Okay, so that's six months and you take care of every debt. Because your income's incredible if you actually budget. If you don't and you continue acting like you've been acting forever and just spending all this insanity, mm-hmm. these, this, these percentages are whack. Yes. 
then you'll never get out of this and you'll die in poverty. And that's just basic math. It just takes, it takes 10 months and the Jaguar is paid off. No. Yes. So you don't think I should just continue financing that? It's at 9%. Just pay off extra? Pay it off. Okay. It's your last debt on this, on this ride. We did a mixture of Snowball and Avalanche, kind of. So is this mm-hmm. a hybrid? That's why I've been trying to just do the Snowball and pay the care credit off first. But What, you said you wanted to pay off Sun Loan first? See, For again, sure. This is why I said your top priority thing, you just have no idea I have no doing. clue how to budget you're at all. Organ- I agree. That's not even budgeting. I have no. I literally don't even know how to do any of this. <laughs> yeah, so you don't have any top priority. Your top priority is going to the vending machine. Mm-hmm. So 14 months, 14 months and every bad debt is gone. You have no bad yeah. debt. Okay. No bad debt in your entire life. It's incredible. I'll have more school We'll see debt. how many elks you'll hit between then, but no bad debt. Okay. 14 months. Caught another probably six. Yeah. Shouldn't be more. It should be five months. You should have a six month emergency fund because your needs between income, such a wide gap. Mm-hmm. Then you should be able to cash flow the rest of school as well at that mm-hmm. point. So this is incredible. This is incredible. It's so what should I save? For a six-month emergency fund? Well, I want to put money down on the house. Well, okay. We get a six-month emergency fund, and we cash flow school. You might have to put the house off for two more years. No, because then I want to get, I want to flip a house. I want to renovate a house, I don't too. Give a f- I, want. I want you to be in a financial, financially less risky position, in a healthy position before you go into it. Guys, it's a new year, and you need to make your money work for you. You can do exactly what I literally do right now and put my money in the best high yield savings account, SoFi. I get a 4.6% yield on my money and I also took advantage of the bonus of up to $250 when I signed up. You can start 2024 off amazing by doing the same by going to the link in the description below. If you're buying your first property at 22, you're beyond ahead of the curve. It's not even close. Mm -hmm. You're impatient. Stop being impatient. Your impatience has gotten you into a place of financial ruin. Yeah. Follow what I'm saying. Follow the budgeting program. Stop f***ing around with You'll actually... Yeah, well... So, okay. Okay. Okay, what was it? So, a year and nine months. A year and nine months, all bad debt is gone, and you have a nine-month emergency fund. How much more schooling? How many more semesters? Mm, in a year and nine months? Okay. Hopefully, Cash- I'll be about done. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. You will be. You will be. You probably won't be able to cash flow that entire time. You'll probably be borrowing because you've paid off those collections. Then so I can just take it alone. You'll you'll be probably borrowing a little bit during that. Mm-hmm. And what you're going to do at that point, if the rates are above 4%, 5%, kill them. Knock them out right after that year and nine months. Okay. Let's call it two years and you're completely debt free. If it's not your minimum monthly payment, still paid off. And I can tell you about that when we get there. But either way, let's call it two years. You're completely debt free and school's paid for. You have a degree. Wonderful. At this point, what I want you to be doing because we're compounding, you have so many years on your life, we're throwing 20% on a monthly basis into investments, whether that's through your workplace, or whether that's through a Roth IRA, or individual stocks in a program. Uh, I use Moomoo for my individual stocks. You can use whatever you want to use, and there's a lot of different things you can do, whether we're playing with individuals, not playing, but individual stocks or Roth IRA or in work retirements, and I would take if, do I would do the tax advantage accounts first, like 401ks and Roth IRAs. Then, because your needs and income coming in is such a wide gap at that point, your needs are going to be like 40%. If 20% is going to investing, needs are 40%. I would do another 20% you're saving up for a down payment on the house on a monthly basis. Mm -hmm. And then the other 20% can go to fun. And that's still a lot of money towards fun. Yeah. That's, for example, $1,300 a month on fun. It's a lot of vending machine trips. So... Well, hopefully in a year and a half from now, I'll be making like double. I mean, with the with the amount of hours you put in, that's very possible. So either way, 20% to investing, 20% saving for the house, 40% on your needs, just based on this, as long as your needs don't go drastically up. And hopefully the man baby will start chipping in anyway, which mm-hmm. will bring your needs down to maybe even 30%. Yeah. So at that point, and the reason it dropped dramatically, by the way, is because you don't have debts and your debts are your largest single monthly thing. At that point, you're doing that. Once you have a down payment for a house, do it. The flip thing, I don't know. That's a conversation we could talk about when it comes to real estate. I don't know what your plans are there, and I'm honestly scared just based on how you do things, but either way. 
We're not doing that for probably two and a half years from right now. But that's okay. Mm. 22 and a half. Oh, my goodness. It's incredible. It so far. It's not. I promise you, my goodness. I remember thinking that at 20. Mm-hmm. Now I'm basically dying in a retirement home at this point in my life. And uh, it went by very quick. I promise it will. And no one likes when you say that. I remember when people said that. It doesn't mm-hmm. feel like it. But just promise me. Uh, just just trust me. Trust me. Trust the system. This has worked for so many people. This can work for you. And you can have the greatest life ever. Or you can continue doing what you are doing. And you can just be f***ing around. And you can never be financially sound for the rest of your life. I would personally choose the proven path to success. Hey, that's a good name for a system. If I had a system. I don't have a system because I don't like one size fits all. But that's a good name for a system. A proven path of success. For success. I don't know. What do you think about all that? That's a lot to take in. Um, I think I can do it. I'm going to do it. Like this? Yeah. Okay. Now, a lot of people, they walk under here with a fire lit under the Yeah. We're talking two years to be completely debt-free and uh, school completely paid for. Two, and, and, a half, two and a half years to put a down payment on a house. You think you can do all this for two and a half years? What's going to keep no, you motivated I, all throughout? I want to do that sooner. Oh, I would love you to do it. What's going to keep you motivated all throughout, though? Because you'll feel fire under your a couple months. What's going to continue your motivation? I don't know. I just think having that goal in mind, I think I can do it. I feel like once I get something in my head, I just have to have it. So what's been in your head that's prevented you from doing this? So we've had, obviously, um, incorrect clearly objectives. Clearly, food and quad pay and things. So that those have been your objectives? What no, no 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 what have your I just objectives need to stop been? With that. What have your objectives been? I don't know. Make it okay. through well, day by day. Okay, well that's not a good objective. So okay, that's fine. Now this is your top priority. Mm-hmm. And we've leveled uh we've laid out what is required to get there, the steps along the way. So if you're aiming for those steps and you attack them mm-hmm. and we actually get to our top priority item, which is getting bad, which is getting all debt free, honestly, paid for degree, fully six month emergency fund. And a down payment on a house. Yeah. That's incredible. That's incredible. So do this and you'll get there. I'm very scared based on your history. I'll be completely honest. I'm very scared based on your responses to this. Jaguar is not needed to be sold to get out of this debt. But the fact that you weren't even willing to consider it before we got to the end picture is terrifying. I don't really and me see off. why I need to pay it off either if I just want to get an, a new 9%. car. It's 9%. Your new car. But my interest would be Your new car. Why would it be better? Rate seven gotten better. It, maybe when my your score would be a little better, mm-hmm. but it's not going to get that much better. And then you're just talking about taking out more debt again, so you haven't even learned the lesson. So what's even the point? What's even the point? I'm going to do it. Oh, I thought we I thought we ended on a happy. Watch me. Yeah, watch you get a new Jaguar. Mm-hmm. How much is the new Jaguar? I'm I'm saying in a year from now. Yeah, how much is it? I don't probably in a year from now. The one I want will be like maybe thirty five thousand. Why? Why? That thing looks perfectly fine. That thing's perfectly fine. That thing's perfectly fine. They upgraded it in like the 2021. What's better about it? Everything. What's better about it? The screen, the the whole interior. Kill me. I I have no hope for you. I'm sorry. Okay. I have no hope for you and I'm done. Watch me. Good. Prove me wrong, please. Because okay. it's your future. It's not mine. It's yours. So actually prove me wrong. But that, stupid, to be completely honest. And it's just, it's continuing your immaturity. But you are 20, so whatever. Well, the categories for a hammer financial score is spending within a budget, the debt, emergency fund, retirement, and real estate. There was nothing good when it came to emergency fund, retirement, debt, and spending a budget was absolutely insanity. And the debt was the cra- some of the craziest I've ever seen, especially for age. So it is beyond obvious that the hammer financial score is 0 out of 10. Make sure to check out all the resources linked in the description below. They are what I use or would use in specific situations, including the best budgeting program in the history of the internet. Thanks to all of our Patreon producers for making this episode possible. If you want to participate in an episode of Financial Audit and you're able to make it to Austin, Texas, please fill out an application in the survey linked in the description below. You can also send a link to your friends or family who you think might be good to be on the show. If you have any questions, you can email casting at calophammer.com. 